The final walkthrough. Let's talk about what it is, why it's important, and when it actually happens. Hey, it's Jeff Chubb, welcome to the channel. To learn more about real estate, then don't forget to click the subscribe and like button below. And if you wanna talk real estate mano y mano, then let's find my information in the description below as well. So the final walkthrough, it is an essential step of the home buying and selling process. So what is it exactly? The final walkthrough is just that. It is a time when a buyer walks through a property that they are purchasing to verify that they are receiving that property in the promised condition and that there is no debris left behind. So when does this exactly happen? Now the final walkthrough generally happens the day of or the day before closing. And the reason for this is that the final walkthrough happens so close to closing is that buyer, the buyer actually owns any and all issues that happen between the actual walkthrough and when they have closed. So why is this so important? This is an actual example that happened to me. We had a closing scheduled for Thursday. My client moved out of the house over the weekend with the last day of them being in the property on Sunday night. And there were no issues when they left the property and the property was being delivered in that broom swept condition. Now the buyer had scheduled the final walkthrough on Wednesday night. So they showed up and started walking around the house when they noticed some water. They opened the basement door to find the basement literally full of water. Sometime between Sunday night and Wednesday night, a pipe actually burst in the second floor bathroom. That water then traveled down from the second floor through the first floor and into the basement. If this was a car, the equivalent of this would be like the house was totaled, if you will. So you're ripping this house down to the studs due to the extensive water damage and mold. You're replacing all the systems in the property. I mean, this is extensive damage cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now let's play out this scenario. Say if the buyers did their final walkthrough on Monday night and the pipe burst on Tuesday morning. The buyers then went to closing on Thursday morning and showed up to their new home all excited with the movers in the driveway on Thursday afternoon. Now believe it or not, those buyers now own this problem. Now this is an extreme scenario, which again, literally happened to me. I was on the seller's side in this case. Now, most scenarios over the years have really been situations where sellers have left behind some junk. I've had a couple situations where sellers have left behind a lot of junk. I've been on both the buying and selling side of this situation. Now, it's another common issue is pain. It's a pain to get rid of. And many times the seller, they just think they're doing a buyer a favor and leaving that beautiful pink paint left behind. But they aren't. A seller needs to ask if the buyer wants the paint or tools that they're leaving behind. So what happens if there's some junk issues? Well, normally either a holdback or credit is given to the buyers. Now a holdback is where the closing attorney will actually hold an amount in excess of what is estimated to get the issue resolved. And then we'll release those funds once it's been confirmed that the situation has been taken care of. Many times it's us calling a junk removal company to do quick work and getting the property vacant and in that broom swept condition. Now these situations have cost many hundreds of dollars up to thousands of dollars depending on the amount of junk that's left behind. And by the way, we use this terminology broom swept condition as the definition of clean can be debated between any two parties. But it's really hard to debate what broom swept means. I mean, it's kind of obvious. If you're looking to learn more about real estate and buying a home, then be sure to click one of the videos on the screen now. And if you want to talk in person about your real estate goals, then find my information in the description below.